The title of this video is Going Back to Where I Belong. From the time you were born, home is where your story began. Home is from where one starts. The thing about home is that it feels good to leave and it feels even better to come home. Home is the starting place of love, hope and dreams. The ache for home lives in all of us. A home is a safe place where we can go as we are without being rejected. Please subscribe to our channel. Just press the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications of our latest videos. When you believe in God and accept Jesus Christ as the Savior of your life, the church becomes your spiritual home, your second home. You do not live in the church, not on a full-time basis in any case, just an hour plus, on a Sunday mostly, being at home in the house of God, the gate of heaven where God dwells among us, the place where the glory of the Lord does a mysterious thing to and for sinners and saints alike. It is the house of prayer for all nations and all people, a place where we discovered that we are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells within us. Some people have given up the habit of meeting for worship, but we must not do that. We should keep on encouraging each other, especially since you know that the day of the Lord comes closer. Pandemic restrictions have persuaded some of our Christian community that digital church is the way to go. Christians in flesh and blood touch and feel. Getting together can be replaced, and sadly, so sits in the first steps of neglect, defection, abandonment, and desertion from the church that Jesus Christ himself established and founded. Just because that falling away appears to be the signs of the times does not make it right in the sight of God. Two sacred spiritual dynamics happen when you assemble in service and worship as believers and followers of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit of our God inspires and anoints the praying, anoints and inspires the music, the singing, and the reading of the Bible. The sermon or message from the pulpit, likewise, is inspired and anointed. You're right and privileged to identify with Christ when you take the holy sacraments, all of these. And so, fallible, imperfect human beings, dedicated unto their God, usher fellow Christians into the place of sacred mysteries and strength for each day. And so we invite you to go back to church. Return to your spiritual roots. Be in a spiritual home. Life is a hundred times poorer and money can never buy the private and secret strength and answers that settle on and come within us as you join with others in the church. Your feet may have left home, but we and your heart are calling you back. Christians are a particular body of faithful people, faithful to their God and His Christ and the teaching of the Bible. We organize ourselves around our beliefs and faith. We can worship and hold services in a building or a cave. What is important is that we together in faith, in the name of Jesus Christ, worship our God. Evil forces flood the world with every reason why we should not believe in God and Jesus Christ. This age makes every attempt to dampen and extinguish our faith that it dries out, even in the hearts of godly people. The love of many becomes slowly cold. Over five million people have died in the COVID pandemic. They know whether there is life after death. They know if there is a heaven or a hell. If they could, they would tell us to seek the Lord with all our hearts while we can. We encourage you and urge you to stand firm in Christ and the faith that we know in Christ. No matter what, He will never forsake you, so you do not walk away from Him. Anointing and inspiration do not go into chairs. They go into the people who are in the presence of Almighty God. How do you create a godless society? You starve the young and children of the truth of God's word and the power of trust and faith 
in God. Let your children grow up as Christians, assembling in worship with other believers. And the same truth about our destinies as adults and parents applies. You can never know what the Holy Spirit of God will work into and shape your children to be, to reach their true destinies in God. You will never be able to count the cost and price you or they pay without assembling with the saints, whether in a building, together, or a cave. In a remote village in Wales, a little boy wondered why a city preacher would travel all the way to the village every Sunday to preach to a small congregation of a handful of people. One day, the little boy went to the preacher after the church service and asked the preacher, Sir, why do you come all the way to preach to such a small village crowd, such a small church congregation? The preacher said, I come because God has sent me. God knows what I don't know about the destinies of the few people who listen to my sermons and my messages, who listen to the music, who sing, who listen to the prayers, who listen to the Bible reading. That little boy, well, he grew up to be a translator of the Bible and a foremost Christian scholar and thinker. You see, you can never know what God will do with a faithful servant and a small congregation. Just be faithful so that the congregation grows and people who need to receive Jesus Christ, the Father will draw them, the Holy Spirit will open their hearts, and Jesus will convict them. You just let your light shine. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Till we meet again, from Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lounge, have a great life and a better day. Thank you.